Hi everyone, this is Val from EurekaCrystalBeads.com with another sparkling beading video. But before I get started, here's a quick reminder to check out our channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time we have a new listing. Our project today is a cute little crystal doggy companion friend. And he's just a really cute little friend that's pretty easy to make. Um, you can make them in different colors or even different size crystal beads. And they're just kind of cute to keep around with you. The products you'll be using today are some Swarovski crystal in um, two, at least two different colors. You'll need at least a main color and at least one or more accent colors. You'll also need some other pieces like some other bicones for like eyes and tongue. You'll need some fire polish for his nose and maybe a tail. You also need some chain if you want to make a little leash and a jump ring to attach that. And if you wanted to make it a girl, you could use either girl colors or you can add a little ribbon to this, just tie it right onto the little bow and right onto the ear. Um, you can also add it to a keychain finding if you like. You'll also be needing some flat nose pliers, a scissors, and some Supplemax or monofilament. Ordinarily, I would be using a clear Supplemax line because of its transparency, it's just you won't see it in your project quite as much but because of it I'm demonstrating it today I think it's easier to show you with a black monofilament so the first thing you want to do is string up four of these bicone crystals and bring it to the center of your line and with one end you're going to cross through the last bead added on the other side so when I say cross it just kind of means to bring your line into that bicone crystal so it kind of forms like an X or it looks like cat whiskers. And then you just want to pull your lines tight. And just before you close, pull it tight, just make sure your project is still going to be pretty much centered. When you pull your lines tight, it's going to look like, like this, where it's a nice cute little circle. And now what you're going to do is continue. You're going to put two beads on this side and one bead on this side. So the easiest way is to bring your two lines together side by side and just put two on one and one on the other. So it looks like this and the side with one will cross through the last bead with two and then cross again looks like, like an X. And then you're going to want to pull your lines tight and so now you have two circles. Do the same thing one more time. So one and two So now the one with one will cross through the last bead added on the other side. So crisscross and pull your lines tight. So now you have three completed circles. And you're going to want to kind of fold your project up and you see the two going across from each other. Each of your line is going to string up one and cross through this bead here. So you can go ahead and add one on each line. So we have one on each line, bring it to your base. So now it looks like this, bring your project up and now we're gonna cross through this last bead here. Cross the opposite direction. And pull your line tight and here you go. So now you have one cube. All right, so I am ready to start building my next set of cubes. So total, we're gonna to have three cubes. This is one and we're gonna build two more cubes on top of each other. So what we're gonna do is just continue on doing the steps we did earlier. So we're bringing our lines together and we're gonna do two beads on one line and one on the other. And then the side with one is gonna cross through the last bead added on the other side. So again, it's gonna cross through forming that X. And then we're gonna pull our lines tight. So you see how it's starting to build the next. So we're going to borrow this first section from one, from the from the first ball. So that's one, and then this is two, and then one more will make three. So again, two and one. Side with one, we'll cross through two. Pull your lines tight. Okay, so it looks like this. So now you see we have one, two, three. So now we're going to join our pieces together to create. Um, closing of the second nugget, the second ball. Okay, so one bead on each side and cross through this bead here. So 
at this point I'm just going to string one up at a time. So string one and cross through the bead from the same direction. So if it's coming out from here, it's going to cross through this bead in the same direction. On the opposite side. And cross through. And then pull your lines tight together and see how it forms. Now you have two, two cubes. So now to continue, we can't continue from where we are here. So we're going to bring each line up one and across. So this line's going to go up and across. Same with this side. It's going to go up and across. So I'm coming out from here. So I'm going to go up. and bring my line back up because you don't want it to come from under and across. All right, so when you pull your lines nice and tight, see right here, it's a little loose, so I'm just gonna kind of shimmy my pieces, just pull it tight before I continue. Okay, so now we have two. We're gonna form one more. So just repeat what I just did one more time, all the sections just to create another section of ball right here. And I'll be right back. So we have here our three sets of cubes. So you see one, two, and three sets. So you notice how this one has two and this one has one. We're going to be building on top of this last one here. So to do this, we're going to do the same thing. Two on one side, one on the other. Sorry, I know this, this um, line looks a little bouncy and everywhere, but because monofilament tends to be a little bit bouncier than um, then Supplemax it just kind of is everywhere for right now. So you see the one and the two. So the one with one will cross into the two like we've been doing. And then just pull your lines tight. So now you see how we started another circle. So we're going to do this another time. So two and one. And last bead crossed through the last bead added your lines tight. So now you have your two circles. So now if you look at it, now you technically have three circles. So we have one from the base. This two is the one we we did and the third one we just did. So we're going to connect our ball again. So one, one bead on each line and cross through the bead on this opposite end to close our cube. So I added one and just going to cross into that last bead on the end. Do the same thing with the other side. And then go through the same bead from the opposite way. And just pull our lines tight. Sometimes you might have to help this line just a little bit. And there you go. So now it's formed a, another set right on top of each other. So here's our first three we did, and now we added our second one. So remember what we did earlier, because we want to build one more on top of there. We're gonna come up through our side walls with each line. And then you wanna cross through this bead here with each line. Right, and pull your lines nice and tight. Okay, so here is the front view, the top view, and a side view. So I have finished now my three sections on the bottom and two sections up on top. So when I finished my second level of my cubes, I am right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do another couple of sections of my crystals but we're gonna change it a little bit way through before we close it off. So two and one. And the side with one will cross through the last with two like we've been doing. So we're kind of been repetitive pretty much this whole time up until like certain parts where we have to join the balls together, or the cubes together rather. So again, one more section. So two and one. Okay, and then again, last one crosses through. 
All right, so now here's where it's going to get a little different. So if you look right here, we're at the point where we would put the one bead each and at that point cross into here. So we're going to change it up a bit. On each line, now we're going to put two black bicones. Because now, if you probably guessed it, this is our little doggy's eyeballs. So one on each. Bring our lines down. And at this point, you can turn it around so it can look like it kind of, kind of looks, reminds me of a little snail right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our one in and cross through this bead here. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Cross through our bead right here. And when we pull our lines all nice and tight, you'll see it right here. So it kind of looks like a funny looking doggy right about here. Now we'll bring our line up through our eye and across to the side up on the top. So eye and then right into this bead right here. And pull your line out nice and tight and do the same thing on the other side. So up through the eye. And across the top. So now it looks like this. So we went up the eye and across right here. So I'm going to just now work with one side of my line and now we're going to start attaching the ears. So here on my one line we're going to add three of our darker color beads. And then go back into that same bead you came out from. And now it forms like this cute little circle here. So this is the starting of our ears. And now what we'll do is we're going to go back into this bead and out through this. So in through the side and out through the top bead. And you want to make sure you pull your line nice and tight. So it looks like this. And we're going to add three more beads. So one. Two and three. And so from the opposite side. So cross back into that bead from the opposite direction. So now it forms another little loop. So you see it looks like this. So like two circles on top of each other. Pull your line nice and tight. Make sure there's no gaps between your beads. And now we're going to sew back into this bead here. And then go down the eyes. Okay, so it looks just like this. A little ear, see, it's a little wiggly there. So we went back through and down. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Our little ears on both sides are done, and now we came, our lines went back down through the eyes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to string up on each line one of the light colored crystals so just like this and then on one line we're going to add on this one of this four millimeter fire polish and now you're going to cross through that with our opposite line and pull our lines tight so now it looks like this see his little nose right there and now we're gonna, on each line we're going to put one more And now each line will cross through the next bead that's going sideways. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. It wants to go in a different direction. Okay, so let's pull out our line. And do the same thing with the opposite side. But I lost my bead, so I'm going to restring it. And now we're going to go through the same bead 
So if you ever get to the point like right here where it's a little stubborn and it doesn't want to go through, it just means that there's so many lines going through that one bead. So instead of trying to force it through, an easy way to do it is to take your flat nose plier and don't hold it too far down, but a little closer up is better. And use this as your fingers to push your line through. It goes through a lot easier and it doesn't bend your line quite as So you see it's a little muzzle and now we're going to add a tongue. So on one line, we're going to add in a little tongue. So we have a small bicone here. And we're just going to string it on one end and cross through with the other line. And here's your cute little tongue. So now we want to find our way with for each of our lines to go to this bead. So I'm just going to sew down this bead, this next bead lower and across through here. So down two, put your line nice and tight and then across on the bottom. Okay, so we went down these two and across here. So my line is right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I brought my two lines down to the bead that I showed you previously. And now we're gonna string it, start with one side of our line and we're gonna string up three of our dark color beads. And then we're gonna cross into that same bead we came from, from the opposite direction. Pull our line nice and tight and we're going to string up this bead and across through this next bead. So up and across. And every time you pull up your thread, just kind of be mindful to, to um, pull your line tight at each step. Now we're going to string up three more of our dark beads. And then sew back into the same bead, cross into that. So now it looks like this, so circle upon circle like we did in our ears and all of all of our project up to now. We're creating those square nuggets basically on most of this project, which is kind of cool just by doing the same steps. So we kind of come up and across. And now I want to close off this leg. So I'm going to add one of the dark beads. And then I'm going to cross into the same bead we started out from for this step. So I'm coming out from here and I'm going to go down and cross into this bead here. Pull your line tight and then we're going to string up one more dark bead and sew into the bead on the top. and pull your line nice and tight. So here's our first little leg done. So now I wanna bring my line down through this bead and out through this bead. So down and out through two. So it's a little hard to pull out that space. I'm just gonna pull out with my plier. And now I'm gonna go through these two beads, pull tight, and now I'm going to do the same thing I just did to the opposite side. So my lines are coming out right here after I finished my dog's leg, so I did all four legs, and now I want to bring my line up to this bead where I want to be able to crisscross both lines through this one bead at the top. So if you kind of look at the dog this way, it's going to be this bead right here, so the one straight above the legs. So any way you get there is fine, it's up to you. I'm just gonna string myself, I'm gonna string up one and then up this light colored pistol bead and, and cross to the top, so just like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of my line. So my line is right here coming out from this back side and now I'm going to add on both of my lines I'm going to add on one of the dark crystals 
and then this fire polish. I'll push that nice and tight down and we're going to bring both lines back into the dark bicone and pull the lines down with one hand while you hold the four millimeter fire polish with your other hand to kind of pull, to pull them apart to give it some nice tension. I'm going to bring this short one down here, just down this one bead and this opposite side, the little bit longer thread in this case, I'm going to bring it down one of the side walls again. I don't want it to go through that other bead. Okay, so I just brought it down this bead. I'm going to bring it across through here and then I'm going to tie my lines in a knot. And it's a little short right here, so I'm just going to pull my line a little bit with my pliers just to kind of help give it some tightness. But not too hard that my line is going to break, but this line is pretty strong. So you can either tie it once or twice. I think I'm going to tie it one more time just because I'm a little bit paranoid. Pull tight. All right. And then you'll weave off your excess. So we have our doggy all pretty much done. So he has his nose, his eyes, ears, and feet, and tail. And now we're going to add a little bit of a chain to it to give him a little dog leash. So you'll want to take a jump ring, kind of a heavy duty jump ring, open it up, and slip in one part of your chain. Wrap it around his neck just really loosely, not too tight, and just hook it onto your other chain link and close it. And you want to try to use a heavy duty jump ring at this point because you don't want it to break apart or because the length of the roller chain is pretty big you can actually probably even use a double length of chain, a jump ring, a double jump ring. So here is our little puppy and you can just leave this on your desk. Imagine it as a desk toy. Wouldn't that be a cute conversation piece? Just somebody, a little pet to play with and talk to while you're sitting at your desk is kind of cute. You can attach it to a keychain if you want. Um, not too long of a chain at that point. Maybe just cut it a couple, maybe one inch longer and just attach it to maybe a little closer up to the hook of the keychain with another jump ring. Or you could even attach it to this kind of a piece of the other chain also. I just think it's a little um, safer to be a little higher up, not too long. And it's just kind of a cute, just a little friend to keep with you during the day. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for sticking with me through this and um, like always you can find these supplies and more from EurekaCrystalBeads.com and all of the supplies we used in this video are listed in the comment section below. Have a great day!